Today, we're going to watch one of the greatest classical pieces ever written. It's called Flight of the Valkyries by Richard Wagner. Now, Wagner was a German composer who lived from 1813 to 1883. And he's a very important figure in classical music because he... he <laughs> Wagner is a very important figure in classical music because of how much he influenced modern composers He's credited with moving from sort of traditional harmonic ideas into exploring the dark and evil woods of chromaticism. Now, the version we'll be watching today is performed by the UBC Symphony Orchestra. Jonathan Gerard is conducting. Let's check it out. Yeah, I love those trills. Brilliant orchestral texture. Here comes the main theme. D major chord here. F sharp major. Already very non traditional. Oh, give me the evil minor chords. I love the sound of the brass section in an orchestra. It sounds like a overdriven guitar with pure, rich distortion. Here's an augmented chord. And that's what I'm talking about with that departure from traditional sounding harmony. Uh, augmented chords, that's off the deep end a little bit. Sounds... Ah, uh, evil. <laughs> oh, beautiful, augmented sound. There's an F sharp chord. Okay, main theme again. Just listen to all the different things happening in the orchestra. Wagner was a master orchestrator. Brass is carrying the melody right now. Strings just doing a lot of texture. Kind of marching around in different major chords here. There's that augmented sound again. Now this piece is based on Norse mythology. The Valkyries are like these women who decide which fallen heroes go to Valhalla, which is like the afterlife equivalent of heaven in Norse mythology. Give it to me, Wagner. There's the woodwinds doing the trills now. Even if you're into you know, metal music or, or even pop, you can use some of these orchestration concepts, right? Not everybody has to be doing the same thing all the time. Cardi B, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I 
made it to Valhalla. Now we get some percussion. I hear those cymbals? I hear a, a triangle in there somewhere. I think that's what I would play if I was in an orchestra, the triangle. It's like the easiest thing. Augmented sound again. It's so creepy, I love it. He's always playing with like the traditional harmony and then into this new direction. Chromaticism. No. Oh yes, bring it back home. More chromaticism, yes. And we end where we began on the B major. Bravo. <laughs> Amazing. There you have it. One of the greatest classical pieces ever written by Richard Wagner. You can hear the influence of Wagner in modern day composers like John Williams. Now, if you're interested in learning how to analyze music like I'm doing here, check out my music theory course below. That's going to teach you all about things like augmented chords versus diminished chords, major, minor. What's a key signature? What are intervals? What's your favorite piece of classical music? <laughs>